Hello, Mark. I'm Martin. This is Strat Chat. Welcome to episode 16 of our run in uh, in Iran. <coughs> and welcome to our run in uh, in the in Persia. So um, we're very very young. We've just got lots and lots of very very disloyal uh, vassals in our prison. We're only four years old. We're going to make the most that we can out of uh, what we do with those prisoners. I'm going to try to get myself to grow up safely. That's my that's my big goal. And in addition to that, en route, see if I can get more of these disloyal vassals into my prison cells and see what I'm going to do with them. Right, we're going to shrink ahead. We're going to get on with the game. Okay, let's go through the prisoners one by one. So this chap is Arabic. He is not Iranian. Actually, look, before we start doing this, let's have a look at exactly where we stand in terms of ending the struggle with Iranian resurgence. I'm even going to quick, make a quick note of this. We have 57 out of 108 involved counts or higher sharing Iranian heritage. Right, let's see what we can... Because here's one of the ones that's causing us the problem. Okay. Revoke titles. Now we're certainly probably going to get some tyranny. No, I can do it without being viewed as a tyrant. That's fine, because he rebelled against me. Revoke title. Right, we're already <laughs> way above our domain limit, but we'll, we'll give them away in a moment. Let's have a look now. Yes, so we've already gone down from 108 involved... Uh, people to 107 and we've taken one um, Arabic one out so that's good news so what we need to do is continue that process I think executing is difficult because he, he has a house there are going to be lots of other people no doubt there's 56 living members probably some of them I will want to be uh, using okay this chap is Ogres which is Turkish Turkic heritage he is a count this is the man I actually waged war against. Okay, so we will revoke his title. <coughs> right, we'll come back to you. you you're Dalamite. You are at least Iranian heritage. I can't see why I wouldn't revoke his titles. <coughs> Might as well give them to somebody loyal. Now this chap doesn't hugely dislike me. I think a nice big fine will be fine. So the barons, I'm just using to raise some money. I'm getting 30 each from barons. So essentially, I've got weak hooks off uh, many of the uh, many of the characters. There's nobody I particularly wanted to bring into my court. I didn't want to execute people because what I don't want to do is to uh, make these families hate me. So I uh, didn't do that. Okay, let's let these these sums of money pop in. Okay, right, we got to give away some some things. Right, we need to give away six. Right, so we've got to give away to somebody with a Dalamite culture. Well, these are only baronies. Okay, so we have virtually everything, I think, in Baghdad. We also have this Duchy of Wasit. Okay, so we need to give this, obviously, to a Dalamite. What we really want is somebody fiercely loyal. Let's go for Sassanid. So my family, my dynasty, for this chap, a covetous knave. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Right. So let's just see where that's actually got us in terms of the struggle. Still 53%, but we've gone down to 106 involved because we got rid of two. So it was a step in the right direction. So here is a chap with a lot of power. I kind of want him on my side. So he's actually, his negative opinion is, is, is more than 100 minus. So get I think getting like 25 into his good books isn't on its own going to do anything. So he is a detractor. I don't think I can change this yet. Okay, I'm a child and I need more piety, but it's the child is the big issue. Okay, so there's, there's no chance of forming an alliance with this, uh, with this chap. Okay, so have a look at the old uh, uh, vassals. That gets him on side. She's profligate and gout ridden. Fine. Has he got a better daughter? <laughs> I think we bring him in, make sure that he's on our side, or at least he can't join any factions. Two and a half, three, four, five. 
It's about 6,000. I mean, many of these are Dalamites. In fact, the only one that isn't is this one. He's got 3,000 troops. He's worth 3,000 and he hates me. Two and a half thousand and he hates me. Two and a half thousand doesn't hate me quite so much. Okay, so this guy, okay, let's see what he's actually got. County, county, they're all county and barony titles. So, if I form the duchy, maybe even, maybe even give it to him. So, he wants my, his liege to hold the duchy of Yazd. Okay, right, we can form Yazd. Okay, that makes me the current holder. He has the that county, that county, and that county. Now, if I give him, okay, he's currently considering a proposal from me. Okay, so let's let's wait. Okay, so I've got an alliance with him anyway. Shardom of Yazd, he'll like me by sixty more. Okay, well that's a step in the right direction. It's only going to make him more powerful in the longer term. Persia, and I, so I am his lawful king. That at least probably helps things a little bit. Right, who else has that specific problem? Here we go. Here we got a chat. So here's a guy who really wants to be a duke. Okay, so let's form Gurgan. Create title. And we're going to uh, grant it to this chap here. He's actually just nudged into positive territory there, which is which is which is which is nice. Okay, this guy's just a barrow. Oh no, he's a count. He's got a county. They want. He wants Kurdistan. Well, I don't have enough money for Kurdistan. Ooh. But in time, I will. So, right, let's play on. See what happens for a little bit. Right, my regent is trying to further the mandate, and she failed. She tried to defuse a faction, which caused tense strife with Shazdapir's vassals. Okay, excellent. Let's just have another check of this faction here. Right, this faction's become weak now. All of the factions against me are actually fairly weak currently. Okay, I do have a few places that really could do with some some work. So let's start with um, Iskaf. <clears throat> so this chap is very much doesn't like me. He's not very powerful. But if I form this, and I give it to the chap that likes me... Uh, I give it to the, the chap that likes me, likes me, or dislikes me less, Shardom of Kurdistan, he will like me a lot more, and the guy that really hates me will be sort of out of the running. I mean, minus 13, it's almost... Almost not too bad. <laughs> All right. My brother died. Okay, so he died from being sickly. So he was my player heir. My player heir is now this chap. Wow. Right, that worked really, really well, actually, me having that player heir, because I, he was essentially my half-brother, and I... I couldn't have any more brothers because obviously my father had died so it meant that everything would go if I died early to my half brother but we have the same situation here everything will go to this person Amir Vashab's uh, sorry Vali Zorkab he's obviously a part of my house but I don't know anything else about him I don't know how I'm related to him he's Iranian heritage everybody's Iranian heritage He's not, but he's quite powerful. He's not, but he's quite powerful. I should be able to take them, though. I just want to wait until I feel a little bit more secure. Mashrikis, all these small Mashriki states on my border, they all need to go, don't they? Ah, be a little bit careful. Those are not a part of Persia. But Zorayid is. Okay, so this one is a part of Persia. I could take him. He's Arminian. That's Mashriki. That's Mashriki. And if we go further inland, Bedouin, I don't think that's Iranian, is it? No, it's Arabic. And this, there's various places I could go for. Okay. Okay, this, cha this chap doesn't have a powerful overlord. 
essentially 2,000 troops, one county. That's something I ought to be able to bite off. Let's bite it off then. Conquer County. 150 prestige. Right, plan is to raise, if possible, only men at arms. If we can win with men at arms, we'll, we're, we're in good shape. I take this county and we win. Right, so we've won the first battle. We're already 50 per gone 50%. Let's take it. I gain the contested title, and I need to give it to somebody. Grant two. No, I start giving it to my brothers, assuming that they are... I need to just check their... Yeah, Dalamite, that's fine. Okay, super. And that, I think, will give me an alliance. Okay, Iranian into Mezzo. Ending the struggle. Iranian phase. We are now 58 out of 106. We've gone up 1%. So here's a Mashriki. He has basically one, two, three three county titles and a duchy title and a lot of vassals Mashriki 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 just a load of Mashriki vassals okay so there's a degree of risk here uh, but I do know of course I can't go for I can't go for much because I don't have the, the kind of the prestige I can only really go for a county so I'm kind of taking the view if I can only take a county at a time take a county at the time at a time he's he's like one of the weakest declare war holy war for a county what's his religion it is a muslim faith so i think if i go for a war for a county okay so it's only a shari uh, people that are vassalized we'll just take this but it's worth it if we just go for conquer county i gain the contested title <laughs> I think we'll go for Irbil first, and then we'll we'll cross over into Mosul and take the capital. Raising Kirkuk. Initially, we're going to raise all. Not paying 180 for a wet nurse, just as I'm start starting a war. Okay. Right, so this is going to fall quick. Yeah, reasonably quick anyway. So let's send some of these troops back into my own territory to watch over them. Okay, I have got something under siege. Okay, they're trying to... That's their entire force, isn't it? I'm going to time this right, because I need this to fall even if they run that way. It's, uh... Okay, it's fallen. Right, we're starting to get a uh, ticking time score, which is which is good news. Right, let's get back to there. Right, you go and get the siege started. I think we take this capital and we're in good shape. Well, if we get a nice victory here, we could end the war very quickly. Okay, we're on 94%. The Regent has furthered the mandate. I, mean, I think it's a degree of inevitability about this. Um, I have to be 8 before I can start to switch it back. I'm already 6. Okay, it shouldn't take too long. How big a victory was that? Excellent. And the thing is, I'm winning fame all the time. Already well on my way to uh, Illustrious. Right, I think the first thing we do is we ransom this boy. Uh, no, no good. No good, he hasn't got any money. Right, I've just got two new titles, Erbil and Asim. So I think I need to give this to somebody of Dalamite culture. A number of prisoners that can be ransomed. Ooh. Why is he worth 100? Well, let's just not ask any questions. This is a lot of money here. He's a baron. Barons are good for the 30. 25 is a relative, isn't it, normally? Yeah, okay. That's a lot of money. I can transfer a bill to... Okay, let's just have a look at this then. So, I've just conquered this. He's Dalamite. I can give it to him, which will make him like me a lot more. I really would like to take this chap's counties away from him. Yeah, look, people have, uh, people are abandoning him. Right, where is he? There, okay. Are my forces disbanded? Yes. Right, this is risky. 
but I think we, we want to get this man out. This man is Iranian, this man isn't. Revoke his title. On decline, we have a relatively small uprising to deal with. I say relatively small. There's 10,000. Okay. Right, I'm just chasing everybody around. I need to get into this battle and I need to win it. 47 days. Uh, they're running. But I will catch them. Down to four days. Right, nice. Not not massively outgeneraling them. But that's got to given us eleven percent. I think we need to go and we need to go and capture something. Okay, Damgam is under siege. But that's gonna be about seven months eight months till that falls. So things are starting to look a little bit more positive. A little pincer going on here. There will certainly be a battle. Right, the, the in-debt thing is quite bad. Okay. Right, that's got us up to 23%. That's got us up to 34 And all the time we're winning fame. Ah, this is good news. My my marshal has sorted out somewhere that had, didn't have 100% control. So where else doesn't have 100% control? Kirkuk, Takrit, Kabbalah. I mean, there's plenty. Let's hit Kabbalah. Right, so it's a large force building over here. So we should just catch this siege, I think, before it before the castle falls. Oh, no, maybe not. I'm not sure if I'm going to catch them. Yeah, right, we're going to have a battle up there. And a lot of their, um, a lot of their, um, Aswa. Right, let's See if we can start retaking this. Okay, good. We're now on 63. So systematically, we are winning this war. Okay. So that's a siege one. So we've won this back, which is really good news. Can we take one of these castles on our own? No. No, they can't. Okay. Right. Can I detach something? Like 130 levies. That should do it. That's our old capital. Anyway, another big victory. Right, super. Right, let's get them all in prison. Okay, all right. Another quick look at the prisoners. What have we got here? Obviously, revoke title. Well, quite a few titles. Okay, that's got rid of another, um, in this case, Arminian. <coughs> We're obviously going to give them back out to people who are of Iranian descent. But we're actually going backwards. I'm doing my work, but somewhere the work is being undone. Uh, might help when I give these titles out. Right, so I'm dishing all of these out to people of Iranian descent. So if we check now, still only 50%. I'm really, really struggling to make it go up. Let's see if I can get myself through to 16. So, Let's dish out the titles to very, very loyal people. Okay, there's those eight. Right, do I have this duchy title here? Kermanzar. Right, who who here likes me? Oh, he's Dalemite, but he's not keen. Dalemite, not keen. Kurdish. Hang on, Kurdish is Iranian, isn't it? Yes, okay. All right, so of them, this one... 57 negative this one's 52 what's his character like cowardly okay let's make him a duke okay i'm certainly getting a lot to people to like me a lot more from these uh, these methods that i'm employing still having too many duchies but right let's look at the area of ray over here it corresponds to a duchy right <clears throat> which is the best Okay, this one. Okay, so we're going to grant this to someone of my dynasty. No. Okay, right, let's... He's going to have Ray. But what I really want to do... That's the villain of the Shardom of Ray. Okay, so I want to give these to somebody else. This guy's going to be somebody else's vassal. Just get rid of my half-brother that doesn't like me. 
Right, all the rest can be given to the brother that does like me. I suppose I should... Yeah, he's Dana White. Okay, good. Right, so I've dished those out. I'm back on 8 of 8. I'm still on quite a big minus, but I'm going to just hit go and get myself up to a decent amount of money. Okay, so the, she has swung control away from me. I think I'm 8 now. In fact, I'm 9. So let's sing, swing the... Swing? Sing? Swing the scales back with a little bit of piety. I love ambitious. Sadistic or paranoid. Well, we'll definitely go for ambitious. Oh, what a fantastic trait. Okay, so... Yeah, I mean, I'm nearly 10 years old, but not yet, and I've got all of these positive traits right across the board. I'm good. Right, we're in credit, which means we're making money. Uh, we, our army's coming back. So we've got to get to here. Okay, well, we are kind of heading in that direction. We've been doing a lot of fighting, and that's helping us. We're getting, I mean, exalted among men. It's on the way. We're really going to... We're really struggling with this thing of... Um, having 60% so we were, we were actually above it at one point but 60% of the uh, counts and above being Iranian we're really really struggling with it it seems like we're slowly moving towards it but they're moving us um, away now that I am illustrious surely I can make bigger battles I can make make bigger attacks yeah I can now do duchy wars their strength is vastly inferior to ours for 790. Okay, so this will get rid of us. This will get rid of a few just before we go to a, a just before we uh, go into a stabilization phase. We just start ourselves a little war that we should be able to win quite handily. All right, we're going to try and win this one just with our men at arms. Now, what I'm hoping is that. As we capture castles, we're able to just keep ourselves in credit. This is getting slightly worse. I was hoping it might be getting better as my marshal is gradually improving control. Nice, we're on 60% and now we're on 96%. We only got 5 from that, so didn't really help much. But at least we're in positive territory anyway. Let's head straight for the capital. There's lots and lots of... So I think no more wars after this one. Well, I'm not going to be able to anyway because we're in a consolidation phase. We discovered Gravelkind. Gravel kind. Nestled in bed under my skin, I drift asleep in a warm haze, bolt in the middle of the night, chest heaving, skin tingling. Never felt this way before. Am I sick? What did I dream about? I can't remember. Is a beautiful girl. So I can choose my sexuality here, okay? So I can choose to be uh, heterosexual, choose to be homosexual, um, realise that I'm bisexual, or realise that I'm asexual. I can actually choose my sexuality. Um, I mean, I guess we're going. I guess it helps. I mean, it makes no difference. It's very little difference, I think, in terms of making babies. But I guess we'll go heterosexual. And what is my religion's attitude to it? Um, in the game, I've no idea. <coughs> Shunned. Right. For game purposes, we're going to go straight. Okay. Right. This falls in three months. This falls in nine. Okay. So what we got to do is wait them out. Right, so it's one a dukedom. So I need to find somebody that I really, really like that shares my culture. Right, I want someone who isn't a vassal. Okay, this chap here. Right, the problem with doing this is I'm only creating one. Okay, so... Okay, let's give him two. Grant this to... Okay. Right, we'll hang on to these two for now, but we have no intention of keeping them for long. So the ambition is to get to 16. Still got quite a long way to go. Right, so no more foreign wars for a little while. That's not that far until we can move on. Right, so stop offensive wars. I think that will help here. Though this is likely to go off, isn't it? So I'm going for sadistic or paranoid. So sadistic really improves my prowess and natural dread. I've probably got a fair bit of dread anyway, the way I've been behaving. <coughs> It brings my intrigue right up, which is nice. But it is out of step with what I'm trying to be good at. Or I can be paranoid. Which lowers my diplomacy. Puts my intrigue up a lot. A lot of stress gain. I'm not really into that. I want this chapter to have quite a long life. 
So we go for sadistic. It's not a bad trait exactly. No, we're having a little another little battle. Okay. So where's the leader? I guess that's the first thing to, to ask. Okay, he's right there. Okay, so let's raise our forces. Well, I don't think this is going to be difficult, but it is going to impact on my control. Let's go and get these guys. But the, all of this is going to be impacting my control, I assume, yeah. That's that's a shame. But anyway, these things happen. Right, how am I doing with my spy master? Yeah, she's growing to like me quite a bit. Chop his head off. Ah, right, okay. Stubborn, chaste. Right, so I might end up vengeful, intrigue orientated, chaste, learning orientated, stubborn, stewardship orientated. Stewardship orientated then. I just passed my birthday there, March the 17th. Let's get this boy to 16. I could go for a duchy war against this chap. He's my shrieky. I think we just do it. Just do it. Got to build up my um, glory of my accolade. Go straight for the capital as it's on the border. Right, let's look at the numbers. So I th initially at least we can just go for men at arms. Right, he's going off to find his allies, isn't he? They're going to come back together. Gilpari is not swayed. Lovely jubbly. Okay. Right, we just want the we just want the war. There are now a hundred and one, so we need to make eight eight or nine people into uh into into counts and we're and we're and we're done. So let's just see what happens here. Grant to Dalamite Grant to Dalamite. Right, they've all gone to random Dalamites. Now we're up to 57 out of 106. Okay, okay. So this is what we've got to carry on doing, I think, is tacking places where you've got lots of counts who are not. And as long as we can do these sort of biggish wars, you know, we're still currently in an unrest phase. We can do more wars like that. But I want to get myself to 16. I'm three years away. Maybe even less. Right, so let's have a look at this uh, hybridised culture. Form hybrid culture. We're going to get mustering grounds, banners and city planning. I think that's that's fine. We obviously we're Iranian heritage, Iranian language. Um, aesthetics. I'm not bothered about. We can stick with the Dalamite thing. Traditions. Uh, traditions. Okay. So we select up to six. There are here one, two, four, six, eight, nine. I kind of like being stronger in mountains. Knights in mercenary courts. Well, I'm not going to be a mercenary court. Defensive. War, peace, acceptance is really, really great, good. Prestige from winning defensive wars and gold from winning defensive wars. That's really, really good if we get attacked. Isolationist, I don't like. Learning per level of fame. We're definitely going for that one. Right, what is Zupin? No, diligent becomes more common as to shrewd. Quite like that. Like, cavalry is more expensive, but skirmishes are cheaper. Makes no difference to me. But Zupins aren't as heavy. Infantry, heavy cavalry. Might be nice to have some Zupins. Okay, because that's the only thing I'm aware of that counters heavy cavalry. Okay, well, let's go for loyalty. Right, so what are we doing wrong in the pillars? I think we have to have one each. So heritage, so language will have to be Aramaic. Excellent. Wow, how old am I? 14 years old, I started a new culture. Iranian heritage, that's fine. Okay. So what I'm going to do with this chap here is I'm going to spend some time promoting promoting culture in my lands. So Kirkuk. Actually, no, in, in Baghdad. 
heading into an unrest phase as well. I'm going to become unleashed when I reach 16. Cora, here she is. Here's Cora. So Cora is uh, a wild oat, okay? She is intelligent and she is Amazonian and she's 11 years old in very, very good health. Um, be interesting. I, 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 it's it's such a shame that I'm not related to her. But the thing is, what I can do is probably create incredible knight-like people. I can boost up the size of my army. I think I'd be better off actually like improving my my territory. So here's Samara. Gosh, nothing is on 100%. I'm really tempted not to bother too much with building until until that builds up actually. My regent furthers her mandate. I can increase my stewardship by 1. And there's a chance the eye education will have a better outcome. Or I can increase prowess. Okay, well we go for that. Right, well done. So we've got some good control now in Samara. Close are we? We're 15, so in December we will be 16 years old. Just a few weeks away. So someone is plotting to kill me. Okay, right, so I had a little bit of a shock. I thought we were on 90% and this was an attempt to murder me. The, this scheme is not an attempt to murder me. It's a claim the throne of you. Okay, so someone is trying to claim my throne. Lots of people that could be. But at the end of the day, I probably have to defend that militarily and I'll probably be okay. So let's just get ourselves through. We are just literally days away. Uh, our birthday is the 19th of December, 9, 19th of December. So we will be 16 in literally a couple of weeks time. So let's, let's hit go and see what happens. Okay, I've slowed it right down. 14th, 15th, 16th. Oh, 19th of December. Two more days. Here we go. I am 16 years of age. Here we go. Okay, Midas touched. Perfect. So that's the best one, isn't it? With the help of Shazda, the university, I've achieved an understanding of stewardship far exceeds any of my peers. I take my first steps into adulthood. Okay. Right. So we're going to stop there. So clearly this is a man with enormous uh, potential already had a big boost in holdings i haven't even picked myself a good wife yet obviously i've got to get rid of my regent um i think with stewardship i'm going to be able to have a lot of money and with a lot of money i'm going to be able to uh, get these troops up to up to nine and indeed you know and ju just just basically have a really really large uh, powerful army in fact i think we'd be able to get them up to 11 because i doubt we're very far away with our accolade yeah and probably get it up to up to 11 quite soon um obviously we're going to go into we're going to go into stewardship we're going to just be just just basically milking milking for money i don't know whether we're going to go domain focus or wealth focus um courtier and guest opinion is is something i never use but actually you know plus 20 is is quite significant considering it's everybody and then the next and the, and then the thing is build that army build really really good income and then we are just we're just out conquering you know this guy is mashriki he's got a whole chunk of land here this guy here looks very very weak he's got several titles he's armino shriki so he's not iranian we're going to be taking these places over and just dishing out those titles i think it'll be very quick now uh, so I'm looking forward to this. So we will be back on um, Tuesday and see if we can finally complete the Iranian Intermezzo. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you then. Bye bye.